Und hier kommt Schnabel! Great control by Ernie Tapai. Still Ernie Tapai! It's a goal! It is a goal! And Nicodem's got there and he's turned the defense. There's his foul! Super stuff! Well, a very good evening to you again from the Bichon Stadium, where we're about to witness the first match, first live match, that is to say, on Sports City of this 2001 NTU NTUC Income S League uh, League. It's obviously going to haunt me saying that every day, but uh, Vincent, the pitch in pretty good condition, a few patches that they've relayed, and no reason why there shouldn't be a cracking game to set us off. Well, definitely, both teams are at strength. Uh, obviously, Jackson Thiago is not going to play tonight, so that'll be a disappointment. Yep, that is a disappointment for the fans. Uh, of course, Home United had this slight problem a week ago where they had to release one of the two Iranians that they've signed this season. And they've gone for Jackson Thiago, an interesting choice, who had a spell with uh, Girong and also with Gerlang, if my memory serves me right. Unfortunately, they couldn't register him in time for the match tonight. But an interesting choice of uh, Robert to go for Jackson. Well, um, um, what do you call, um, ever since the departure of the Iranian striker, then um, they obviously need a replacement. Uh, I guess Jackson Thiago is not exactly a, a, a bad player. It's, it's quite proven now, although he's been injury prone, but I'm sure with the careful coaching and, and, and experienced guidance from uh, Rob Albers, I'm sure we can see the best of Jason Thiago this season. Well, here they come now, the two teams for this evening, led out by the cheerleaders, and uh, hope you identify some of the new faces for these two teams. Home United have two Brazilians in their lineup now, or three Brazilians rather, Egmar Gonçalves, Perez Sandola de Oliveira and Edson Garcia. I'll give you the numbers and we get going. And the Iranian to watch for, interesting player, Amir Tavakolian, who is their under-23 player, former Tehran Bank player, joined them this season as well. Now, Robert took a brave decision, Vincent, at the Arsenal in the last season. He let go of some pretty useful players like Ernie Tapai, Rennie Anderson and others. Uh, what do you think was behind his thinking there? Well, basically, I don't think he really let it go. But uh, I guess the players are looking for new, new pastures. Uh, they have grown. They have become better players, and obviously they are looking for uh, better rewards. Uh, but you know, the, in the S League, there are uh, wage constraints. Uh, there are the budget, tight budget, and um, if, if other clubs, uh, especially the lower division clubs, uh, they, if they can come up with better offers for the players, obviously they are they are looking forward to, to for the transfer. There's the lineup for Home United: uh, Ali Sale, the Escandes, Supermani. It's riddled with internationals: Gusto Gusto Risha, Emma Gonçalves, the Brazilian, Paris de Oliveira, that's the second Brazilian, Asasi Kumar, the big bird, the Iranian Amir Tabakolian, Faris Mohamed. Yazid Sawal and finally the third um, Brazilian they got the 30 year old Edson Garcia there are the substitutes and the interesting name there top of the list Indra Sharandal who is now of course uh, studying to become a full time police officer so he's out of international football but he is allowed to train with the Home United side and I understand from Robert Alberts that he should be available to him most weekends there are the Stallions sent by Wang Rangers coached by the Thai Voron Chelovic and Yazid Yassin in goal will be uh, very much uh, an influence for them this season he's vice captain of the team Nivet Sirawang one of their top Satria Mad, Taufik Samadi, Hirani Sanucci, Bambram Boonprong, that's the under-23 Thai player, Tawan Sripan, the club captain, Tawashai Ultrakul, Ishmael Fitri, and Ramesh, and Ibrahim Noor, and they'll be welcoming him back, Ibrahim Noor. They are their substitutes on the bench, no surprises there, although they are including a 27 and 28, two of their prime league players, and we'll identify those for you in a moment, one is 21, and the one at the bottom, Ishmari Sali, the 19-year-old. And that's going to be a feature also, I think, of this season, Vincent Subramani up next to me, that we have a chance to see some of the future talent too. Well, I must agree with you, John, but uh, indeed the S League is not a playground for young kids. Uh, it's a very serious league. We are looking at the matured players who are capable of withstanding the, comp the competition. And um, in this aspect, uh, obviously, uh, Home United has got a better better side in terms of the lo they got the best of the local crop. One of the best referees in Singapore, referee S. Kennedy who is going to take charge of this match. His assistants tonight will be Mohamed Ali and Jeffrey Go, and the reserve referee will be Ishmael Saudi. And the match could not be in better hands than uh, Kennedy, who's getting more and more international experience these days, highly respected by the players. Just to set the scene from last year, it was surprising last year. 1-1 Simba won home the first time they met, and then home just snatching a narrow 1-0 victory second time round. Well, they'll tear up the score sheet, will be fair to both sides, and we'll say, let's see what you've got to prove to us tonight. It'll be Simba one Rangers to kick off in that uh, black and white strip of theirs looking rather like Newcastle United and away we go Samoa playing from right to left on your screen and straight away into the action Edson Garcia skying one over 
Well, John, home United is pretty uh, pretty tight at the back. They still got uh, the services of ID Skanda, Subramani and Sasikoma. So very much uh, into their own team. But I can't say the same for Sambawang. Uh, indeed, they are very quite new side at the back. Uh, of course, Niwet is going to hold the string together. They are very experienced at the back. Home United is one of the most experienced. Ida Skanda just getting it away as far as Faris Mohammed. And they also enjoy the services of uh, not just the great Arsesi Kumar, um, well, one, one meter 91 of him, but also S. Subramani, who for me is one of the most outstanding defenders in Southeast Asian football. Early pressure though from the Simbawan Rangers, who may well feel they've got nothing to lose. Big pop at goal. And watch out for the tie connections for them. That's one of them. Tawan Shripan on the ball, the club captain, former Thai international. But it's Edson Garcia for Home United. Picked up by Nimiat Sarawang, yet another tie. They have four Thai players, Zimbabwe and a Thai coach, Warawang Kitabanich, better known as Pam. Over for Gusta. And that's just running out. That might be a player, you could say, Vincent, who uh, might want to re-establish himself in international terms, Gusta Gusarisha this season. Oh yes, uh, but he's playing in a very unfamiliar role on the right flank. You think the uh, thinking behind that for Robert Alberts? Why would he play him there? Well, definitely he's not going to use him for his speed, but perhaps for his silky touches. Edson Garcia, the Brazilian, 30-year-old, new signing from Vitoria. Little glimpse there of Tawachai at number 11 for Sembawang. Long chase back for Faris Mohamed. Second highest scorer in the league last season. It is on the pitch and he's got number nine on his back, Edmar Gonsalves. 18 goals for him last season and the club top scorer, Asasi Kumar, with a ball that might be just a little bit too long forward. Picked up by Nuyat. Chance now and a good cross in that was. From Oh, well, spectacular celebrations too. And what a way to start your career in Singapore football. Perez Spindola de Oliveira from Brazil. Vincent. Well, it was quick to pick up the loose ball there. Well, very, very bad defending there, very poor clearance. Uh, but Perez took advantage of it and put the ball into the net. It's a good start there for Home United, but it's, it'll be interesting to see how Sambong can get back into this game. There's still so much time left to play. Well, when you work for months in the close season to build up your team, it's a pretty crushing blow to concede a goal in the first three minutes. But I had the opportunity of seeing Home United in a warm-up game a couple of weeks ago, and they do look very fit and very fast, and they're going to be a real handful this season. They had an excellent pre-season tour of Thailand. They won all three of their matches up there. Now it's a corner for Sambawan to be taken by Kawan Shripa. Up will go Sasi Kumar, doesn't get that one. Driven back in by Mohamed Ibrahim Noor. Yazid Sawal looking for Egmar. That should be cut out by Satria Mud. A mile offside. Asasi Kumar. Perez. Play from Tabachai. Push forward from Hamid Ibrahimdo. Tabachai onto the pool. Excellent understanding between the two ties, Tawachai and Tawan Shripan. Egmar Gonsalves, the long-serving Egmar Gonsalves, who's been with the club since 1996, has been an excellent servant too, Vincent. Yes, it's been a long-serving long foreign player in the S League. He's got his uh, permanent, permanent uh, citizenship uh, status early this year. Nimiat. Formerly with Gombang at number three, gone back rather with uh, number three for Sambawang. Sambawang on a break forward. 
They're really going to have to work hard to get through this Home United defence. A little misunderstanding there. Allows Egmar to pick him up. He doesn't have much support forward. Goes to Acusta. Tucks on from uh, Perez. Nimiad. Still only 23 years old. Nimiad 31. Adi Askander. Tabachai. A little too long. Broken up by uh, Gusta. Play on, says referee Kennedy. And uh, Egmar, although offside, was actually running back, so no whistle. And a little glimpse of uh, Yazid Dassin, still just uh, 21 years old, Vincent. And um, I just wonder how he feels playing against his former teammates. Well, the first thing he has to do in this game was to pick the ball from the net. Indeed, yeah. indeed there was irony for him. Sabawang, who I think it's fair to say have been perennial bottom half of the table since they joined the league. That's a lovely breakthrough. Egmar to um, Garcia. Sabawang. Under pressure, that's the uh, Edson Garcia. They finished eighth last season. In fact, eighth is their favourite number with Sabawang. They were eighth in 98, eighth in 97, and eighth in 96. And uh, they haven't enjoyed a great deal of cup success, too. Change coach this season from Chanbun Seng to Vorawan Chitabadich. Nuriak goes back. Yazid's come an awfully long way. Slight misunderstanding there. Throw in for the protectors. Well, John, like we suspected, the home United are indeed putting on the pressure on Sambawang's defence, and you can find that the Sambawang players are not able to hold themselves together. Uh, already, the home United had three chances at their goal. down the left now. Sabawa also had a pre-season tour to Thailand, favourite spot this year. They played in the four-team tournament in Phuket and uh, they lost two games, 1-0 and 2-0 against SAF. They beat um, two of the Thai teams. And uh, when I visited the Sambawang Stadium in Yushun this season, they shot in, they were quite optimistic they could improve on their, their lucky eight. So Yazid Sawal. So goal kick for Sambawang, and if you've missed the beginning of the game, you've missed the goal. It went to Home United, courtesy of number 10, Perez Spindola, in the third minute. Gonçalves. Tied up by Satria Mad. Throw-in for Home United, taken by Paris Mohamed. It's understanding has picked up by Ben Harani. Long ball forward looking for Ishmael, Abdul Fitri. Just to come back to the club, having finished his national service. Neither of these sides superstitious, Vincent, because they both play a player with number 13 on his shirt. Almost impossible to find uh, some teams around the world now. Will, no player wants to wear the 13. Oh yes, but well, it's been lucky for some. It's a little glimpse there of the Iranian Amir Tabokalian. Garcia gets the game underway again to Tabakolian. Amir Tabakolian at uh, number 15 for Home United, their under 23 player this season. Each club allowed four foreign players, but one of them must be under 23. Which uh, I might say did prove a little bit of a problem, Vincent, for one of two sides. I think Ballastia had a problem finding another 23 player, but they all seem to have got settled out now. Well, we felt that we have to give you the chance because uh, we in hope that these one or two foreign players will, will sort of uh, be happy with Singapore and start to stay here and play 
football professionally and perhaps take on a permanent citizen status and then perhaps in the later years uh, get on to represent in the national team for Singapore. So after Fari and fast beginning here at the Bishan Stadium in this first match live on Sport City in this NTUC Income League, it's 1-0 to Ham United. There is Kasavan Soon in the centre there, just uh, scratching his head. You've seen him with the coach, Voran Chitavanic. Former Thai international and uh, internationally also coached Thailand at under 16 and under 18 level. So he's a very experienced coach indeed. Egmar drops back. Uh, no luck there for uh, Hamid Harani. Gusta seems to have uh, just uh, lost a little bit of body weight since I saw him last season. Foul there by Hamid Harani and it will be a free kick to Ham United. Vincent, tactically so far, how is Robert Alberts playing it? Well, it's, like I said, he's, den he's denied some long space. Uh, in that way, they, they've won many balls. Uh, so they're having a good position of uh, the, the play at the moment and very tight controls. I guess that's what they got their head by upper hand at, until now. Sasi Kumar looking for Egmar Gonsalves. Good move since uh, Egmar is about a meter 82. And they get a corner for it. And you might want to add that the Sambuang defense, uh, actually the whole team is lacking in height. Uh, this will be quite difficult in other games where they have got taller players to mark. Yes, I noticed that when I went through the team roster, the tallest player is at number four, uh, Mohamed Azmi. And uh, he's actually on the bench tonight. They're an average height of around a metre 75, which is quite short. Just headed away there by Ishmael Fitri. This has always been one of the best pitches in the league and uh, having been chastised slightly for criticising pitches last season, <laughs> let me say that this one does look in pretty good nick. Robert Alberts is a little bit concerned about some square patches where it had to be relayed a couple of weeks ago, but they seem to have settled in very well. It's, it's a surface of incident when you walk it that seems to me as if you need to weight the pass quite heavily. Uh, it's quite a clinging surface. Oh well, it's a sand based pitch. It's rather soft on the surface, so uh, obviously you've got to pace so the passes quite well. All oh, the flags down, a chance now for Ham United to go two up. The check, it should be 2 0. Great save by Yassid. Excellent save, and eventually tied it up by Ramesh. Excellent save there by Yassid. Came out to close the angle quite well and stayed composed. I think that's important uh, because you get all of a sudden the, the forward with the ball get nervous. If you look at the screen now, you get a chance to bring the ball. You had all the time in the world to look at, but you can look at Yassid how well he covered the angle. Amir Tabakolian was the shooter. Asasi Kumar, all the pressure from Home United. Gustavo Sarisha, a low cross, which is perhaps not the best cross, but he's going to get a second chance. A lucky deflection, a little Yazid, I say little, because he's just uh, a metre 69, which is very short for a keeper. Punched well there. Sasi. Edson Garcia. Augusto, he's got uh, Sassi outside him, but I don't think he'll use him. A nice take by Yazid. Headed on, but uh, I think this is almost the first touch of the ball for uh, Hadi, former SAF number two keeper. Just 24 years old and uh, enjoying himself here. But fans probably will not, will, will not recognize him because he'll, he shed an almost eight kilo this during the preseason for for Home United. So he's very serious about trying to get the number one spot away from result the national team. Well, I wish him well. Keeping it, so Keefley out of goal at the moment. So Keefley, San Labadin, the number two keeper. That's a nice through ball and a chance now for Zimbabwe. Well, everybody looks at the referee. Arms are raised. Well, I think Lefri is under at, at, at that situation, well covered. But the game needs to go even. Not too much of a foregone conclusion. Only uh, 24 years old. Adi. Throw in for Home United. The other match tonight, of course, the big match, uh, Jurong FC against the Singapore Armed Forces. Tabakoli and showing an appetite for the fight. 
Nice to see the cheerleaders down on the pitch side this season. It was a feature last season, we felt they were a bit lost, but there's also a big bunch of them up in the stands. They really are a smashing bunch of ladies. I was astonished to find out they're all civil servants, so... Hickman doesn't quite get that, they get a second chance now, it just runs a little bit too long. Perez couldn't control it. Well, John, it's nice to see how Hickman flicks the ball and then get, get a back pass in, and you see that, what they call, uh, Perez is coming onto the ball. Gusta is reading the team quite well. Back goes out here, Skanda, with Bamrung. Have you seen a lot of Bamrung? Sorry, he, he did his teamwork. I think Home United is showing a more, much more of it than Sambong at the moment. Satria. Man. Over for Mohamed Ibrahim Noor. Packed, packed in the centre of the pitch there. Might be Sambong want to think about spreading it out a bit to the flanks. It's all going down the middle at the moment. But you can see how quick they closed that one on Tawan. Not allowing him to turn in and uh, forcing him to pass. Tawan Chipan, number 10. Twice uh, voted Asian Player of the Month by the AFC. And it's the Thai connection now. Tawan there at 10. At 11, uh, Tawan Chai. And the Thai boys got also Nui out there. So it's the three Musketeers from Thailand. And they really can belt it from this distance. Look at the wall. Wow, that's done. Satria Mad. Mad And just uh, shipping it to touch. Well, ID gave away an unnecessary free kick down the left side. I think it's important that not to consider any free kicks around the box. You know that uh, Tawan and, and both uh, Tawa Chai are good in free kicks. Uh, we don't want them to capitalize on these free kick situations. I think he's just become a father, am I right, Eddie Scott? Oh, yes. That might be why he's looking a little bit um, <laughs> fraught tonight, sleepless nights. Free kick for Simbawang. A better three or four minutes for them in this game. Trailing 1-0 and uh, 60 minutes gone. And driven in by... Oh, that's so easily deflected. Confusion everywhere. And eventually it's hoisted away by Perez. And a little bit of news for you about that game I was uh, talking about. Jurong against SAF. Kati Suk Senamwang, another tie, has made it 1-0 for SAF. Latest score, of course. Possibly the best-known signing of the season, really, Kati Suk Irvinson. Oh, yes, there were the fans at the Jury Stadium get to watch the somersault that he famous, he's famous for. The corner for Sambawan Rangers to be taken by Mohamed Ibrahim Noor. Another player just returned to them from national service, punched by uh, Adi. Not very convincingly, and here we in there, gets a touch on it! Well, the S League this season, a Brazilian and a tie have opened this game up very nicely, but a little bit of confusion in the defence, Vincent. Well, they were slow in pushing up. When Adi Saleh did actually punch the ball out, we find that the defence there was very slow in pushing up, giving him a chance to get into the second chance. Took a very you find that actually Aidi Skanda, Sasikoma and Surumari was very slow in pushing up and closing up Niwa there. there. Well, that wasn't in the script. There you were there, the first chance, and he had a second chance to get the ball in the back of the net. Took, uh, I think, a big deflection off Al Sasikoma as well, which presented the ball almost to Niwa. But it's 1-1 one -one against this uh, really very experienced Home United defence. Quite surprising. Sasikoma feeding it, looking for Igmar Augusta. Tawachai. And Tawan Shripan. Sambawang flying, ducked by Ismail Petri and uh, Asasi Kuma opting for caution. Well, you must say, up to now, the feature of Sambawang attack must be the counter attack, the speed they have, the change of pace of the game quite quickly, and getting on offensive players into the attacking third, which is uh, commendable actually at the moment, because it's, it's still causing problems for Sasi and, and Subramani and Adi Skanda to pick on these players. Nice control from Tawai Chai for Tawan, fancies his chances. But must be careful, Home United took another deflection. He picked up by Gustav Nusselisha. Limiat for Tawai Chipan. It's like commentating on a Thai international match at the moment. And now a chance for an Iranian to make a name for himself. Amir for the Kolyan. Pull down in the end. Referee Kennedy giving the free kick to Home United. 
But from the glimpse of it, you can see that he's indeed a very skillful player who loves to walk on the wall. It's similar to what Ivica Ragus does for Woodlands. Just joined them some two months ago, away by Satria Mad, as far as his uh, fellow number five, Adi Skanda. The flag's up there on Gusta. Well, in terms of hard work, you, you must agree with me, John, that uh, uh, indeed Sambawang is, is looking to be putting more effort and more urgency into the game at the moment. Uh, obviously, the early goal has sort of settled the nerves of home United, but now con after conceding a goal, they need to come back quickly into this game. Yazid Yassin takes the goal kick for Sambawang Rangers. 1-1 the score. Nibia goes back, he'll have to be quicker. Nearly gave um, uh, Yazid a crooker. Booster. The one who looks really quick for the ties is Little Bamrung, who is an uh, under-23 player, just at a metre uh, 62 he is, at number nine, and he looks very fast indeed. And certainly uh, might fancy his chances against Sussi, who's not the quickest of players, that was skied over by Edson Garcia. Big part that was uh, Perez. But but Perez is the man for midfield for Home United. He's stringing the passes together and getting the whole thing going. I think similar to what Ernie Tapai did for them last season. Flags up against Egmar Gonzalez. The score stays 1-1. Just a little mention here of those people who make the S League happen. They're the sponsors of Home United, of course. Super and the sponsors of Sambawang, Pan, a Thai company who sponsored their kit, thanks to them. That's the new title sponsor, NTUC Income, this season. But some of the old favourites still around, and a long shot there from Tawachai. Well, when I spoke to Charles Siahan, the chairman of Sambawang Rangers last year, Vincent, he was really hot on his Thai players and said what excellent value they are. I wonder whether we're, with Kathy Suk now at SAF, whether we're going to see even more in the league. Well, we have eight of them in the, in the league this season, which is uh, quite quite a large number, I would say, from one country alone. But, uh, but uh, I hope they don't take the sting out of the S League at the moment the country calls them back for their national duties during the pre-World Cup qualifying. Yes, we've had one disappointment at the beginning of the season when uh, Tampines Rovers Brazilian, who was the only premium player in the league, let's just say, receiving the top salary of uh, $10,000 or more. Uh, Martins has actually gone back to Brazil after just one game, having received an excellent offer from the Gremio club in Brazil. The club Tampines felt they couldn't hold on to him, but it's a major disappointment for Stags fans. Ishmael Petri. Oh, a lovely skill, but just a one too many by Thelma Tripan. And I would think that Robert Alberts is feeling just a little bit cautious, perhaps. Or a little bit uh, jumpy. Yellow. That's uh, Mohamed uh, Taufik. But talking about Renato, John, I don't think the, the call the club should just let a players just go after signing a contract in the S League. They spent three months and gave the fans a lot of hope of seeing them playing in Singapore, but just to let them, just to leave the club. After just one match, it's not. I think it's not attractive for for the for the league as well. Uh, well, I'm going to say I'm 100% with you there, um, Vincent. I think it's very disappointing for Tampines fans, and it hasn't been handled very well. All the more so as his replacement was already at the ground last night, which means that the club has known about it for some time. And uh, some time with four and a half thousand people at Tampines the other night, uh, several thousand of whom I'm sure half at least have come to see this boy play to discover that he's left the club. Not a great start for Tampines this season. Not yeah, well handled. I think it's demeaning of signing a contract in the first instance. It makes no sense. There's an obligation on both parts. Oh, Egmont's going to get that one with a bit of space. Just the touch from Nui was enough to put him off. Gusta still 1-1, driven in by uh, the scorer of the goal, Perez, and the scorer of the Home United goal. So Baba Rangers scorer was Nui and that's going to be a free kick right outside the box. In a very nice position, thank you. Egmont gets rather gingerly to his feet. Ironically, he actually joined uh, Home United from Gremio, the Brazilian club we were talking about way back, though, in uh, 96 and uh, has been consistently almost top scorer for Home United. Great servant to the club, 30 years old now, and the Singapore PR. This will be interesting. The Iranian on the ball, let's see what he can do with it. 
or will it be uh, Perez from the other side? Perez, chips one. Oh, it's a beauty! Oh, just for a second, I thought that had crept in. Excellent free kick there. Shows a lot of curve on the ball. I'm sure he sort of stunned it, yes, it for a moment. Tipping on. Really didn't miss by more than a coat of paint. Robert Alberts, who went to Brazil to sign these two boys. Well, we talk about the striking partnership of home United. Indeed, now you can see that uh, Yazid and, and, and Ekmar don't seem to be working uh, quite closely together. Indeed, uh, uh, the understanding is not as good as it was last year when, he, when Ekmar actually played with Ernie. Perhaps uh, there will be a little difference uh, when uh, Jackson Thiago has been roped into the, to play the, the first eleven. Yes, if you missed the comment in the build-up, uh, Jackson Thiago was not able to be registered in time for home United. And so uh, he won't be here tonight, although he's on the ground. We uh, saw him before the game. And now it's Sambawa Rangers with Mohamed Ibrahim Noor. Well, good cross that, deep for the little uh, Babron. Keeps it going. Ishmael Petri is there. Asasi Kumar and S. Subramani. And eventually hoisted away, not very convincingly, only as far as Niwiak. The ball seeing a lot of air, and that should be Adi's ball. But like I said, the counter attacks of Sambong are indeed something that you can look out for. Uh, indeed, the change of pace and the speed they put in is, is troubling. It's, it's making the what they call home in that defense a little uncomfortable. Inevitable now that as sides come up against Home United, they'll be fully aware of the threat of Egmar Gonsalves, who they'll be used to, and there'll be uh, people keeping an eye on Perez as well and uh, Tabakolian. So it won't be easy for these new players coming into the S League. They've got a free kick now. That's Robert Alberts, the Dutch coach of Home United, former coach also of uh, Chong Baru, Tanjong Paga. Adios Gardner, take a deep, looking for the big man, Sasi Kumar. Driven in by Gusta, but he hooked it just a wee bit. Look at it again as the shot from Gusto well wide. Yazid made one excellent save at the feet of uh, Perez ten minutes ago, but now 27 minutes gone in the first half at the Bichon Stadium. It's Home United 1, Simba 1, Rangers 1. So, uh, latest score is still Jurong nil, SAF 1. Keti Suksen 1 on his debut in the S League. Seems to be a little bit stalemate at the moment, Vincent. Well, yes, yeah, so perhaps the, the opening matches blues are there. 1-1-ish. One, one Both sides don't want to take any extra chances now. But definitely, I don't think Rob Elbers will be happy with the draw. He'll probably be going for the three points. Well, it's the rather artificial table at the moment, isn't it? But uh, Geelong United is the, some of the fan club. It's the extra cheerleaders for Home United. Um, they look a little bit young to be civil servants, but... <laughs> Enjoying the game. Geelong United top at the moment with three points. Tanjong Pagar also on three points. Um, but it's largely an academic table after just one match. Satria Mad. Well, well Robert Elvis' plans was to, was to deny space for Sambuang players. But uh, Sambuang are not giving Home United any space either. I think they have been closing each other up. That's why the game is so tight at the moment. Sassi with a deep ball. And that's uh, Yazid. That's difficult for Yazid. He took that ball very well for a little keeper. Big height difference between him and Egmar Gonsalves. Thought about bringing it over to our commentary side. Mohamed Ibrahim No, also a, a vice captain of the team. Two vice captains in this Simbawang team. That's one of them on the ball now. Looks up for Bamrong. He may just a bit. He was onside. Ismail Fitri. Oh, good cross in. It's still with Simbawang. Uh, Mohamed Harani rather wasted it. Well, Sambong is so slowly creeping into the game down. Uh, what do you call the home United fans? The home United need, need, need more possession of the ball. Yes, they have possession of the ball, but there's no much thing up front. I guess the Paris has to do a little bit more work to try and link with Ekma. I think that will produce some uh, uh, results for them. At the moment, I think Ekma has to work in isolation. 
But most of the time when he receives the ball, he has got to be on his own and try and wheel and turn. And um, obviously they are happy to keep him there. Perez, Spindola de Oliveira opened the scoring for Home United in the third minute. And Nimiad Siriwang equalised some ten minutes later. It's 1-1. That's uh, Tabakolian. As well to get it to Egmar looking for the return to Tabakolian. This is a chance for Home United. Egmar's through and Yazid uh, sensibly clearing that one away as quickly as possible. Yazid had that rotten luck last season just to miss out on the cup final with Home United as he's. Uh, stint in the national service came to an end about two weeks before the final a disappointment for the boy and uh, there's the think tank for Sabawang Rangers a glimpse oh yes definitely yes it is his was one good team Egmar who holds the ball up really well but not that time away by Ramesh as Supermani just checking behind him Sasikuma. I mean, uh, Tabakolian can't keep that one in. Big man, just, uh, although he's just 22 years old, uh, stands at a meter 82. But as Vincent Supermani was saying earlier, he does look very skillful on the ball. Harani Sanucci prompts Sambawang forward. Ishmael Petri. A bat runs to the flag down. This could be 2 1. Oh, the play. That's what we are talking about the penetrative passes, which is lacking in Home United. You find that the one, two chances that Samboan gets, they make use of it quite well with good penetrating runs behind the defense and slide to slip the ball through. A couple of times I thought, uh, what do you call Adi Sali did quite well to come off and cover. But then, Home United defense indeed are working on a very thin wire. Gusta. There's a lot of ball play, there's a lot of skill in the home United side, I think nobody's going to deny that. But uh, to win the game, I guess, you've got to push the ball more, a little bit more up front, show a little bit more change of pace, and uh, make use of Eggman to get the ball back, and Perez need to move a little bit more for forward, I think. There's no denying that, as Gajit and Gusta and all that, they're all good players. Foul. Uh, and the score over at Chirong just coming into my headset still 1-0 to SAF sensational start for Kattisuk in the S League it's put them one up but I don't think we've heard the last of that game SAF come into this season uh, as a former coach of theirs Vincent, uh, maybe uh, Fundy I'm just a little bit worried about their form including a 6-0 defeat on their pre-season tour of Thailand well, uh, the trailing competition this year in the S League will work to their advantage, honestly, John, because um, uh, they got a lot more games to play and they got a lot of depth in defence and a lot of depth on the bench as well. So ideally, even they have one or two bad games, they still will survive in the long league like this. Tired, tackling back like a little tiger, looking for a, an opening, but it's only as far as Gusta for Sasi Kumar. Sasi uh, laid that a little bit too long for. Uh, Perez, Sasikuma unfortunately has never had a, or so far, a repeat of that dreadful knee problem that he had in uh, 1999. Well, without doubt, Jackson Thiago will make an impact in this team because he's a runner, a lot of speed. You find that actually Perez and, and both the other side, Ekmar, they are not actually runners. They like to have ball on their feet and like to work with the ball as well. But uh, off the ball running is equally important, John, in this match. Yazid showing a little bit of it in the first half, but I guess you need more, a lot more players to do that as well. As Subramani puts it into touch, talking about strength and depth, I mean, uh, Robert Albertson has a lot of choices because he's got Indra on the bench, uh, Jackson, uh, he's a little bit spoiled for choice up front, a bit like SAF. I just wonder whether it's in defence that he might think about shoring up. Well, they have got a very experienced defence side, it's just they need to, need to, uh, they need to be spoken to again. Like I said, the change of pace and the speed of Sambong is indeed troubling them. They have, sink, they have sunk back a little bit very of the true passes. Hirani Saluchi playing it off for Satsuya Mad, but it's cut out and forward comes Tabakoli and might just have shown a bit too much of that ball. They get a second slice of the cake. Or oh, just turns, but it'll be Yazid's ball. 
think yes it is playing a very important role in defense for Sambuang. He's reading the wing game very well coming off the line very quickly to cover all those loose balls just some um, 10 minutes remaining in the first half here at the Bishan Stadium a real game of chess now 1-1 one, one. spoke to one or two of the lads in the crowd one or two of them were 4-0 5-0 they were giving their boys to win it's certainly not going to be that tonight will be frankly a bit of a shock if home United don't get the three points in this game and my god Selvin has got Gusta and Mark right out on the right hand side Perez might use him Perez again on the left foot drives in it takes a deflection from Mohamed Taufik and it will be a corner for home United Sassi was telling me before the game that has been a wee bit of a language problem with uh, an Iranian and three Brazilians, but they're sorting it out now. And I guess in the end, Vincent, uh, soccer is pretty much a common language. Oh yes, it's, it's a more or less telepathic language, obviously. It comes the corner for home, taken to the far post. Up goes Higmar. Oh, and little Yazi gets up very well. That was goal bound. Well, well indeed, you see the corners are coming floating across high. I guess I don't use the height into full use because they got Sassi up there, Ekmar. All tall players there. And Sassi the uh, making a real nuisance of himself right in front of Yazid. That's a meter 91 against a meter 69. Big height difference. Perez Spindola with a corner for Ham United. Looks around. They haven't got it away yet. They want to carry it quickly anyway, and they do. I think it was Nimiat Siriwang. So this time it's Sambawang's defence looking just a little bit rattled. Faris Mohammed with a throw in. Tabakonia does well and gets a good cross in two for Egmar. Just got his back to goal unfortunately. Sassi will have a pot volley. Oh, nice deflection for Gusta. Interesting ball from Gusta looking for Tabakonia. Driven in again. But it was shooting gallery. And as uh puts it back. And Sambawang breathe again. But indeed, Home United is putting on the pressure, which is good to see. But they've got to keep on sustaining this pressure, work a lot more on the flanks, get the crosses in, because we find that Sambong actually are very poor in clearing the crosses. I must say, it's a source of some mystery to me as to why, uh, just as I say that, as uh, Egmar Gonsalves coming off the pitch down here, that'll be a bit of a concern for Robert Albers. But um, it's a bit of story to me that Sembawang allowed Vilimir Sesliya to go. I thought he was one of the best and most inspirational figures for our players in the league. He has gone and uh, apparently gone home altogether. It's just uh, checks. More tidying up but they're getting it out to uh, Babron who's stocking the lad. Egmar seems to be okay back on the pitch. Electric Kennedy have pulled the ball back for a for a offside. Well, if you've just joined us, um, you're watching the first live match here on Sport City of the NTUC Income S League. Ray, I said it right. And uh, the uh, score here is 1-1. Home United in the dark blue strip playing Sambawang Rangers. Scored first in the third minute through Perez Spindola. And then the equalising goal, surprisingly, from the defender, Nibiat Siriwang, a bit of a goal mouse scramble for Sembawang Rangers in the 15th minute. And it stayed that way ever since. And uh, just to remind you, as uh, Yazid Yassin picks the ball up for Sembawang, that it's still 1-0 to SAF against Jurong. The scorer there is the other Thai player, big name Katisuk Senamwang, on loan to SAF. Away by S. Subramani, that back line for Home United looking a trifle flat. Robert Albert sitting just in front of us, still looking relaxed. Oh, belly kick and free kick. And how? Bam roll. Sassi goes over with Tabachai, and uh, that long leg of Sassi gets it away. I must say, if you go by body language, it's uh, Simbabwe looking a little bit more sprightly at the moment. There we are, on the right side, Porawan. Fu Chikai is the team manager for Simbawang. 
with the ever loyal Michael Chua as their club manager. It's like Short's problem for Santley Ahmad. Throw in taken by Amir Tabakolian for Home United. Perez. Sassi Kuma rather optimistically calling for it on the, in the opposite side of the pitch. Tamachai takes on Sassi again. Again, those long legs. Then nimble play from the big man. There's Subramani, could be cruelly exposed here. Experience showing and a throw in for Simbawa. But Sassi is staying much more cooler now. He's able to contain the forwards. He's getting into the game quickly. I guess the midfield is where I think uh, Home United is losing out at the moment. They'll not be able to dominate this part of the field. Because uh, I think Tawan and, and, and Tawacha are indeed still dominant players in there in this match for Sambawang. Little touch for Adi in the Home United goal. Um, just have a quick check on my unofficial watch. About about five minutes, I should say. The train is not on the pitch yet. The B longer season the clubs will be grateful for the fact that they have uh, 40 in their uh, squad now 20 first team players registered and um, the 20 prime league players as well taking them from 21 to 40 and i'm just hearing uh, exciting news from jerome it's 1-1 i think uh, if i'm right it was uh, ac vakuma who's equalized that goal from the uh, thai international kiati suk so 1-1 down at jerome now well that's an interesting game there doing stadium john did you read the interview with uh, Sundram in the paper this morning? He certainly was very positive indeed in the long interview in the Today paper. Well, they've got a, a bunch of very hard-working players, actually sort of renegades of the S-League, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, Tamil Maran, A.C. Vuma, Selvaraj are all from Tempenis actually at one time and came back to join forces with Sundram. Uh, they got a good decent side. Oh, Bamron. Oh, I that was. He's going to shoot for the show. Well, that will have given another scare to Robert Alberts, who rather phlegmatically just folds his arms in front of us and breathes out. That's what's giving them more problems. I think that's the change of speed. This, there you can see, his speed is easily the asset for him. Poor shot taking the near post, but still, you can find that the speed is actually bothering uh, Home United much more. And they're pushing up on the back three, not allowing them to settle. Always good soccer. And... Uh, Referee Kennedy comes over and he's going to give a card Ishmael to Fitri, yeah. Ishmael Fitri. It's uh, the big man down, uh, Sasi Kumar. Well, John, just go on to show how important the sheep pads are. You can find that actually when you hold on to his shin. He has got his sheep pads on, but I'm sure with his long legs like that, he got to buy a better shin guard, which is sort of cover the whole part of his shin. Well, I was briefed at the beginning of this season by Chris Chan. Uh, we th we think uh, no, that's Bamrung. Uh, we think the card went to uh, Ismail Fitri. To, uh, Ismail Fitri for that game, for that foul, he got a yellow. Ismail Fitri at number 13 for Sembawang. So two yellows for Sembawang so far. Chris Chan was telling me that the referee is equipped with a buzzer this season. Is that right, Vincent? Uh, Should be still, wearing a buzzer on his arm. It's still on an experimental stage. Yeah, we have got one set, but I, I guess I don't know whether it's here or it's been used in the Jurongi Stadium. Oh, I thought it was being used for every game now. But well, it's, the, it's very much a very useful tool, actually, for the referee. How does it work? Yes, yes, it's sort of on a vibration mode. It alerts from the, the linesman? Yes, from it. It's triggered out by the linesman in, in sort of a... a that's right, that's Ishmael Fitri. That's that uh, foul on Sasi Kuma. We move towards half time. Home United are going to pop one in now. Not that many, won't. Extraordinary misjudged free kick. There is. At one minute, the board just being held up by the fourth official, Ishmael Sordi. Here we are. Changing the angle over to Satria Mad. Sambawan push forward. 1-1 one, one, and we're into injury time. Well, I can see the home in the defence are indeed wary of the true balls that Sambong is working on and the speed of Bamrong is indeed 
something they've got to look at. I'm sure Rob Elbers has something to say at halftime to his players, especially in defence. So free kick for Simboa. 1-1 one, one the score. We're in injury time. Maybe just about 10 metres too far for a realistic shot at goal. But um, who can say if it was a tie fair as Crowley can whack it and Tawachai almost going back for a fast bowler's run. Oh God, he got hold of that pretty well and it wasn't as easy as it looked as to bounce oh, well. to it, but... but he got behind the ball and caught the ball quite well, he leaving no second chances for any 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 Sabong strikers to hang on to. Sassi seems to have recovered from that knock. 1-1, one, one, don't forget, at Jurong, and 1-1 one, one here, too. Home United, who starts like a tornado, rather lost their way in the last 20 minutes, but uh, they have one of the most experienced coaches in the league, who took them to the league title in 1999, and no doubt he'll have plenty to say at half-time. The back here from Bambi, the quite work. Everybody on the Samoa one side was handled. Vincent Garcia. Tawa Tripa. Pressure from Sambawa, right on the stroke of time, he tries one and it takes a deflection, and it may have taken a deflection for a corner, he has. But Joby might be surprised at looking at the space that, that Tawan and, and uh, what they call Tawacha are getting of themselves. But the reasons why is not because it's poor marking there, it's basically because they're able to beat the markers and get off to space. It's a corner which will be taken by the Sambawa captain, Tawan Shripan. Whistle has gone for half time here at the Bichon Stadium, and it's the Sabawan Rangers fans who look happiest. And they can uh, consider themselves to have done a pretty good job, really. 1 0 they were down in three minutes. A goal from the new signing for Home United, Perez Spindola. And then some 15 minutes later, it was the defender, Niwiat Siriwang, who took advantage of a bit of a mix up in the Home United defence to make it 1 1. That's the score at half time. The cheerleaders look a little subdued. Vincent and I will scramble down and get to our pitch side positions, and we'll be back with you very shortly. Do join us. Welcome back to Bishan Stadium, where Vincent Subramani and I will be helping you to a commentary for the second half of this match, which is tied 1-1 at half-time between Home United and Sabawan Rangers. Just before we start, uh, may I just uh, remind you that tomorrow in the Queenstown Stadium, there is an absolutely fascinating event, the FAS Women's Challenge Cup 2001. The third, fourth place playoff, which is between United World College and SAF, Armed Forces at 3 o'clock and the final between Tampanese Rovers 1951 and Home United, that's at 4.30. Now, do come and see that. There's some players who are well worth coming to see. Uh, female players, Megan Paul, Michelle Lee, Melissa Yap, C.T. Fajarai Sofan, and Vincent's nodding next to me. And I know that uh, I was told by the S League during the week the standard of women's football has leapt up enormously in the last oh, year. Oh, no, John. If, if anyone thinks there's a family in affair, let alone they will be disappointed because there was so much of fun and so much of skills to be on display. In the last week, the, the left freak verbally abused by the, by the women. There's so, so much of fights going on down well, there. they're both married. We know what it is. All right. So abused I... by a woman. Um, <laughs> that's, that's tomorrow. The FAS Women's Challenge Cup. It's at the, uh, where is it? The Queenstown Stadium. Three o'clock for the third, fourth place playoff. 4.30 for the final. Do be there. You will enjoy it enormously. Now let's concentrate on the game here. As some um, attractive young ladies sit down on the crowd, the cheerleaders for Home United. And uh, we get to... Uh, Wait for play to come underway. It won't be just yet, so that gives me even more of a chance to tell you that at 5 o'clock tomorrow at Jurong, at Woodland Stadium, at Bukit Gombak, and also at Tampanese and the new Chua Kang Stadium, you will be able to see Prime League football. These are the under-21 futures of Singapore. Maybe many of those will be hoping to be in the 2010 team, perhaps. NTGC Income Prime League 2001 at all those grounds tomorrow. Matches in the Prime League. That's the under-21 league. Right, now let's concentrate on play here. Just has come off. On come. Or Cham Ho, sometimes known as Philippe, or at uh, number 12, he'll be playing. So, whether Gustav is carrying injury or not, or whether Robert Alberts feels that, uh, yet again, this promising young footballer, not quite firing on all four cylinders, we shall remain to be seen. Every night, he will be playing from right to left in the second half. Big one by Salvis, 
winning a corner through his persistence. tonight by his wife and family in the stands, settled in wonderfully well. Right, corner for Happy United, how they would like to start the second half the way they started the first. Sussi's on the line, but not doing much, Added Scanners there. And the catch for Yazid, who's collides with his former Singapore teammate, Sussi Kuma. for the Thai connection up front. In fact, uh, so much the Thai connection as uh, Ishmael Fitri to start with. Now let's see what uh, Mr. can pick up, what uh, Robert Alberts has decided to do here. Certainly uh, at the moment, Chuck Moore is playing exactly the same position as Gustav Oh Oh yes, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll hope to see more of uh, Faris uh, in the second half because uh, he's a very speedy player who will be able to beat, perhaps cause some problems to some long Rangers. ID back to... Hardy. Oh, they're through here. This could be dangerous. And they have to watch this. Could be 2 1. Wow, Ham United really living at moments very dangerously in the back tonight. Caught out by Pace. In again, this time from Tomach Chipan. Tomach Chai just reading that one. Early break on, but just Egmar Gonzalez forward against the two Sabah One Rangers defenders. But he put enough pressure on Yazid to uh, certainly in rugby terms have gained quite a lot of touch. Well, like I said, you know, Ekma is not exactly a runner. He basically likes the ball and his feet because he's quite useful with him. But uh, what do you call it, that they, obviously the long balls are not to what exactly Ekma wants. Tabakolian. Well, that was a half cross, half shot. Could just have sneaked in. The... Uh, each team in the league this season allowed two players on a salary of $8,000. But the premium player status, which allows a limitless salary, really, provided it is covered by sponsorship, and the club can prove they can pay for it, not picked up since the departure of Martins, the Tampanese player, back to Brazil. Interesting that, in a way, because I thought Katisuk Senamuan could have qualified, wouldn't you, Vincent? Philip Moore. Corner, the throw in rather for Hub United. That'll be a foul on uh, Perez. Yeah, I'm sure Rob Elbers have something in his mind about using Indra Sharan somewhere in the, in the second half, John. I suppose it would depend really, Vincent, as to how fit the young man is. Oh, yes, I'm sure you worked at least 20 minutes. Very easy. Fast. Yeah, he can easily manage that. Tabakolia, that was actually a good shot, deflected away off the Sembolang defence. And referee Kennedy, on the spot as usual, picks that one up and it will be a free kick for Home United. Another feature of the S League this season is that you can have your flutter, have your little bet right up to kickoff time. Uh, last season, the rule was that all bets had to be placed half an hour before kickoff. So those of you who like to have a little flutter with Singapore Pools, one of our principal sponsors, then you can get into your Singapore Pools office right up to the kickoff time. Watch as I assure you are all synchronised. Tonight, actually, you could have got there. Three minutes was a goal. It was uh, well worth having a last-minute bet. Tavakolian and Perez on the ball. Another little dipping one. Oh, takes these free kicks well, doesn't he, Vincent? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Scott and Curl onto the ball is normally bothers about the goal but I think this time Yazi Yazi was indeed prepared. Throw in for Sambawa by Sakshi Ahmad. Looking for options. Forward from Emra Mesh. And there goes Bamrung, and he's fast. But well covered by Faris Mohammed. Oh no, he's got round him. And gets a very good cross in. Wow. Acrobatic stuff from Zimbabwe. Another shot coming in, deflects away of Edson Garcia. Bicycle kick out by Perez. And now there's a Zimbabwe player down clutching his head right in front of us. Gazid, I think, will put this one into touch. Oh dear, and that's a nasty one. And they'll have to stop this quickly because there's a, certainly a deep cut by the looks of it. 
quite a lot of blood. That's actually a Mormon on the floor. Always got a concussion on DC. And uh, a nasty cut too by the, by the look of it from uh, far out. So uh, I would not be surprised if we don't see him again in this game. It did look like a very nasty cut indeed. In fact, uh, there's going to be a substitution for Herb United. Uh, the uh, crystal ball of Vincent Subramaniam coming good because Indra Shadan is down talking to the fourth official, just registering his presence as the uh, Sembawang Rangers stretcher party. That's uh, Eugene next to them, the trainer physio for Sembawang Rangers. Now, who is Robert going to bring off? Uh, well, uh, yes, Yaji Shawal, I think, has not been able to impress on this game. Well, I guess it's a straight one for one, for one change. Without change, without disturbing the disturb, uh, the what they call the, the the other the other place in the team. Uh, quite early on, Vincent, you think he just might have taken the decision actually at half time or uh, just had a quick look. Uh, at the probably start. you would have talked to the players and give them a, a five ten minutes in the second half and see how he goes. But if he doesn't show much impact and a sudden change, and then probably you want to like to make a change because at this point of time you, you probably want to get a goal quickly as you can because the, as the time goes, you find that someone is going to be more more compact in defence, uh, very satisfied with the draw. So in this so instance, I think uh, Rob Alberts is right to put in the, the striker quickly. Indra Shardin comes on, and for me, probably the best forward that Singapore has produced in the last three or four years, and uh, sadly lost to international football now for the time being anyway. But he is quick, watch for him, he's got number three on his back, 22 years old, he'll be on, uh, well, he's just been 22, I think, on March the 5th. Former Geelong player, Edson Garcia for Home United. Be very interesting to see how Indra combines with Edmar Gonsalves because in a way Vincent they're both out and out centre forwards, old fashioned centre forwards. Oh yes, yes. You must know in, in 1996 actually uh, uh, Indra Shadan and Ekma actually played together for police sport uh, police football club. Now known as Home United Football Club. Throw in for Sabawa. Not quite reaching Tawan Shripan. Emma Ramesh getting it across. And Indra gets the first touch and a very nice little layoff too to Alsasi Kumar. And Indra's gone like a rocket. Forward. 1-1 well, the score, there we are, confirmation on the screen. The scorers, Perez Spindler for Home United in the third minute. And then uh, some 50 minutes later, it was Nibiat Siriwan who equalised. And you have to say, as we saw on the stats at half-time, with 50-50 possession, this is a, a fascinating game, Flip Moore. Second half substitute. Sassi. That's a little too near the keeper for either Indra or uh, Egbar. And Iskander goes back. Singapore international defender. I don't see his brother's name any longer on the Home United roster. Ideal, so I would assume he's left the Home United club. The two of them used to be here together and frequently on the pitch together last season. Well, Alden is playing for Tempest Rovers now. Ah. Edson trying to work something with Eibar Gonsalves. Pushed back by ID. Nuyat gets it away. Forward comes Tawan Shripan, Samboa and captain, and there goes Bamrung. Well, that'll be a uh, oh, play on, says referee Kennedy. Well, interesting. Was it shoulder to shoulder? Indeed, the understanding between Tawan, Tawachai, and ba Bamrung is indeed wonderful. Let's look at that. You can well, see the run. It's very well timed, very well timed run, and an excellent pass, actually. And what do you think of the tackle? Well, uh, Hunk the referee. Yeah, the referee is <laughs> the best judge at the moment. Play, I have to say, I think Kennedy got that one right. Edson Garcia can't control it. Away they come again. And really, uh, Tawa Shupan calling the shots in midfield, ruffling the home United players. Egmar conceding the free kick this time. A 
Subramani, club captain of Home United. Oh, and Indra Surung with his pace, this could well be 2 1. If he can control it, that's now off. Well, they must know each other so well, these two, having trained with the Singapore Lions so often. But Jordan Singer and Lily stopped that goal. Tawakolian losing out that time. Tawak Sripan is beginning to run the show for the midfield. Tawakolian gets it, but only really as far as the midfield of Sambawang. Emramesh picks it up. Tawang. Emramesh goes for the return. Deflects away of Faris Mohammed. Well, indeed, Yajid is putting on his best show tonight. Much to the agony of Robert Albert, I must add. It was his prodigy, actually. Yes, it won his fame all in this wonderful stadium at Bishan. Oh, driven in! Well, that nearly caught uh, Ali by surprise. It was uh, Mohamed Ibrahim Noor. And there is Robert Alberts on uh, the monitor with that trademark cap. I wouldn't call it a designer cap, but it's certainly a trademark cap. Now a proud daddy of young Arjun, three months old. So, corner for Sembawang Rangers. Taken by Ahmed Ibrahim Noor. Right to the back. One one the score, and the uh, last score we had from Jurong was still one one there. And uh, good, good show here tonight. This is a live game on TV, but still uh, over 3,500 in the stadium. Main grandstand here at Bishan, almost full. And behind me on the open section, that's uh, also 75% occupied. So a good start to the NTUC income sponsorship. Eggman, can he get it run? Indra backpedaling. Losing out that time to Ramesh. Well, Ishmael Petri brought down. I think the more lifts ran over Idi Iskander rather than a deliberate foul, which is probably why Kennedy is not reaching for the card. Vincent? Well, uh, honestly, Idi went in with good intentions. Uh, he thought that Ishmael Petri is going to turn onto the ball, but in flick on and continue his run, just went in, running into Idi Iskander instead. Ishmael Petri. What good decision there by, by Kennedy. Okay, we have a look at it and see, make your mind up at home. He must well, have said something to the referee, John. It's not for the incident. I'm not sure that I didn't leave his foot out there, having yes. seen that just there. But uh, whatever, it's got the free kick now and uh, a card given at the same time. Vincent just picked up. Yes, I did spend up. Yeah, got his yellow. Right, Tawai Sripan and Tawai Chai Andrakul on the ball for Simbawang Rangers. 1-1 one, one the score, and Simbawang really just beginning to get the upper hand in this game. The one really tall player for Simbawang gets sword, Mohamed Azmi. That's a confirmation of the yellow card for Adi Skander for that foul. I might have just wrongly identified Mohamed Azmi. Double check that for you while confirming that uh, both the matches tonight are 1 1 at the moment. Indra just on the left side up front with uh, Amir Tabakolian. And almost a front four now for Home United as Robert Alberts pushes forward looking for the points. Chance now for Indra! <laughs> well, he's celebrating, but I don't think it's a goal. It's a handball situation, and honestly, he's called for a red card. The ball was destined for goal. Well, it's totally going so on the hand, though. It is Nivet. Yes, it's Nivet. Nivet is too Stopping the ball, goal, stopping the goal-bound ball with his own hands. Well, it's that's a... rotten luck, but it's going to be... Now, who's going to take it? A penalty for Ham United. I think it must be 
Let's oh, no, look again. Putting off, yeah. Vincent Tokus through this. Was well, actually a good ball, true ball there by a flick ball out there. Inter did very well, but the save was tremendous. But that follow up ball took a hand to deflect it off. took it, it's his second of the match and it's 2-0 to Ham United one has to say, a little bit against the run of play but uh, just for a moment I must say I was looking at my notes at that second, I glanced up, saw um, Yazid put his hand up didn't see that Nuiet was behind him and had masked him off and Nuiet Sirawang is off the pitch the scorer of the Sabawan goal Sabawan are 2-1 down, they've got 10 men and uh, I have to say that perhaps Home United a little bit fortunate with some super running Oh yes, it was, it was rather unfortunate, but now with the goal, with the man down, the sort of not only uh, uh, working against odds, but it only weakened the defense because Nivet was actually doing all the hard work and, and sort of consoling the whole consolidating the whole defense for Sambawa. Indeed, they're going to miss his services now. Well, let's hope there's, there's more space now for Ekmar and Indra Shadan to work on and perhaps produce a few more goals. Well, Indra certainly posed the initial threat there as Sambawa now get ready to substitute. They're going to bring on Nura Yusman. Abdulghani, young 20-year-old, but uh, it goes through again, and what a shrewd move it was by Robert Alberts, because he is troubling the Simbawang defence, and they're going to bring off uh, Bamrung and go for a defensive option. Nuri Usman, who's an out-and-out -out defender, young man, and uh, certainly no disgrace that Bamrung's coming off, he's played very well, but uh, no choice really for Borowan. Well, the Bamrung out, Sambuang are now left with two only, only two foreigners on the pitch. So, extraordinary goings on here in the Bishan Stadium, but at least the scoreline shows what many people thought it would be, but whether it's a deserved scoreline or not, I'll leave to you at home to decide. It's 2-1 to Ham United. The latest call just come in from Jurong. Mirko Krabovac has put the SAF back in the lead. So 2-1 to SAF over Jurong. A goal for Grabovac and a goal for Kathy Sook. And here come Home United again flying. Yazi bravely out. A long way out, Mr. Said. All that good work that Yazi did earlier in the evening, Vincent. Rather undone by a cruel moment. Oh yes. I guess fair, fair, you know, players have to learn that these are, are very costly things to do. To, put a, to stick a hand out to stop a ball from going in. It's not going to pay any dividends. Now they, they consider the ball and a man down now. It's quite difficult going to, they, how they're going to get back, back into the game. He just made it difficult, very difficult for his own team. All the way across for Satri Ahmad, who won't have a lot of options up front now. I think they're just going to uh, Tawan Shripan in the midfield. Just going to leave the one player up front who will be Ishmael Fitri with a possible option for Emre Mesh to overlap on the outside on the right. But Home United will breathing just a little bit easier. Tawang Shripan. Oh, another little through ball for Ishmael Fitri. Oh, this is a good move forward. Are we going to see a shot here? Great cross in. This could be too here on Sport City and Home United looks stunned the entire back four absolutely stunned Vincent took us to it that's a very well well brought down a good ball across well taken goal there, well taken goal there by Ismail Fitri indeed poor marking is there is the cost of it John well not much that uh, Adi could have done about that Edson Garcia and now we have a real cracker of the match on here at the Bishan Stadium. Every time in football you see 10 men, players if they were 12, always seems to cheer side up and uh, provide a bit of adrenaline. Simbaba is going round, the players going round to each other, cheering each other up. Well, the advantage you have now, John, is they've got one, one extra man on the pitch. Uh, I probably want... They probably think about using it well, broking down the flanks and getting more chances at goal and, and finish off with the win. A 
think that that's about the only advantage you have at the moment because the fighting spirit of Sambal Rangers is beginning to show. Rather ironic that Sambal Wang should lose New York Serie 1 because they have, in fact, the best disciplinary record of any in the league last season. With only uh, 19 yellow cards in the whole season, which is astonishing, and one red. But uh, it could have cost them dearly. I mean, I think Clory back to one, and now it's 2 2. And don't forget, it's 2 1 SAF over Jurong at the Jurong East Stadium. The Jurong Stadium, I should say. The band plays on. That's Super Money. It's in Garcia for Egma Gonsalves as well to get it to Faris Mohammed. Tabo Colium. Nice skill. I'm guessing a good cross through for Eggman. Can he turn? He can. But he says only as far as Kawachi Ban shows a wise head. Well, you've maybe not seen the long shot what um, Emra Mesh was trying to do there. In fact, he would like to lay it off the long run on the left side by Ishmael. Maria Skanda. Paris. Perez. And, uh, well, interesting enough, uh, Reverend Kennedy giving the foul against Perez there for pushing the back. And cramp, I just think, Vincent. Well, a slight pull, perhaps. But indeed, it's good to see Perez now moving up front, getting into more penetrative positions. That will give them a little bit, let it perhaps give Ekma a little bit more options. Yazid. It's, uh, it's going to skid away. Well, with Bumbrong out, perhaps uh, Rob Elbers would like to like to he tell Faris to move a little bit up happy, front as well. He does he? little shot there, mumbling to himself. He's uh, gesticulating um, to uh, Nuruddin, the club manager. Uh, he's not very happy at all. Well, many expected Home United to destroy past some ball Rangers in this match. Yes, but as I said at the beginning, some of us talking about 4 0, 5 0. It's really uh, not happening at all, is it? And uh, if they're going to win it, they've got about 20 minutes left to do it. As Supermani with a throw in on the grandstand side of this Bishan Stadium. There's uh, the Sambawa bench, Kisavan Soon. It's always been very much a driving force, uh, what a one. As I say, a very experienced coach, coached at the highest level in Thailand. Bangkok, Bank of Commerce player and a Thai international himself between uh, 1978 and 1990. Yeah. Played professional football in Denmark, John. Yes, so I, I saw and, and, and did some coaching. I think the co coaching course is there as well. Oh, yes. Edson Garcia been solid without being spectacular tonight. It's a Garcia, a chance to make a name for himself here. Gets it back for Egmar. Bounces off his heat buddy. And Inter couldn't quite get in. Nasty little ball for the goalkeeper. It's an excellent ball there. Well by Garcia. Good ball out. But yes, he did well. The whole game now will be played at a real pace. Perez, Spindler. Faris Mohamed. He's got uh, the Iranian outside him but chooses to go back through Perez. And a run in from Philip Moore on the far side. Oh, and uh, as he well, either missed it or uh, did the feint to put the player off. Whatever, it's a goal kick. Well, it's very much end to end stuff now, John. Both sides fancy their chances of perhaps getting one more goal to seal up the game. kick by Yazid. 2-2 the score and 2-1 still at Jurong for SAF over Jurong. Siva Kumar for Jurong and Keti Suk and uh, Mikko Grabovac for SAF. And that's uh, a yellow, a third yellow for uh, Zimbabwe. We talked about their disciplinary record but when you're down to 10 then you've had your best uh, defender red carded. I guess uh, temperature goes up a bit. 
Das kannst du mir machen wollen, du Dead Gotter Yellow Card. Das war Mahmoud, der eigentlich uh, sneaked onto the pitch at some stage. Das war originally ein Substitute, long ball in from Tabakolian. No problem. Oh, and uh, the linesman was right on that, on the far side. That's uh, assistant referee uh, Jeffrey Go spotted that instantly. And it will be a corner. United choosing to leave two players up on the halfway line, interestingly enough, in case there's a break. But here comes the corner in from uh, Perez de Oliveira. The referee getting a word with Sassi. And he goes up to another big Eggman lays it back for uh, Edson Garcia. And it's a good break on here for Simbawa. Although uh, Home United kept two players back, this could be dangerous for Home United. That's a wise ball also from Ishmael Fisri for Tamaj Ripan. Crosses it in, the crowd are on their feet. Very excited. was played very well towards him, but threw the ball under control, cut it inside, but look how confident he was, he was trying to find the corner of the left post. Well, this is, uh, let's look, look at the penalty that took place earlier, but um, on the build-up, meanwhile, uh, play just continuing here, back live now, in from Home United, we got more shots here! Oh, and Yazid was getting, I must say, dangerously near the edge of his area, He's operating right up on the white line some of the time. Well, this is one of the most experienced defences in the S League. And it's been run ragged this evening at times. It's almost a national defence, John. Yeah, you're right. Headed out, another corner, keep the pressure on Simbawan. Well, now, let's have a look what happened with it. Look how cool he was to get the corner of the net, John. He really takes a player of his class to do that. International class showing there now a corner for Ham United. Not a great one, he said. Lucky perhaps they might just getting it. The direction of that. And, uh... Well, just some moments ago we were talking talking about whether Home United will, will go in search of a winner. Well, there's a confirmation of the score for you. Well, it's like, it looks like from the table shown got, they're going to go for the equalizer now. With not very much time left to play, John, he's got to go push up. I guess they got to push Faris up now, with no options to play, play with a three-man attack. Just around about 15 minutes here in Dushan. Edson Garcia prompting Faris Mohamed. Yes, Faris is indeed moving up now. Uh, it's the second time cross. that uh, Tawakolian hasn't put in the best of crosses, far too near the keeper. And there's going to be a substitution. It's going to be Mohamed Shaban, interesting player. This will ask Vincent how much he knows about him. 30 years old, and Robert brought him into the side, largely based on their relationship when Robert was coaching Chambaru, or Tanjan Padra, as they're now known. He's a midfielder. Are you familiar with him, Vincent? Oh, not really, John. Former NFL player. Now, who are they going to bring off? But the uh, indication of Robert's thinking at the moment, he's just giving him some instructions. And Simbawan won't be in any hurry at all to get on with this. Hamid Taufik. I'll be surprised if he takes off Amir. Yes, yeah. Um, little glimpses from the Iranian, but uh, of course they had one Iranian to one back in the last two weeks. Although officially it was personal reasons. There were stories that in fact the boy didn't quite cut it in terms of ability. That led to Jackson Thiago coming in. Edson Garcia, Indra Shada, Indra to Egmar. He's trying for a 1 2, but it's a packed symbol on defense. No problems for Yazid, and we shall now find out who the substitute's going to be. Yazid again. 
right up on that white line. That's super money. Noor Yusman for Sabawa, back all the way back to S Supermani. And Robert will want to get this uh, substitution over with now as quickly as possible because the clock is ticking by. Great game here. 1 0 to home, 1 1 Sembawang, 2 1 to home, 2 2 Sembawang uh, getting right back into it. And now 3 2 to Sembawang, who've got 10 players on the pitch. Don't forget that Niriat uh, giving out Silly Wang, red carded some 15 minutes ago for saving the ball on the line with his hand. work from Edson Garcia, Philip Orr, and that will also allow the Home United side to substitute, see what Vincent's got to say. Well, 15 is coming off. You were right, Amir. Amir, huh? Uh, the ref hasn't seen it yet, so he obviously has a great buzzer on. Um, well, besides his crosses, he's not been able to show himself on this game. Uh, looks a wee bit surprised, too, to come off. Probably, probably to push up Paris and bring Chabon up to midfield to show up the midfield area and get more options up front because at this moment of time, honestly, John, it's, it's, it's better push everyone up and try and search the equaliser, face-saving equaliser in my head. So, Mamid Shabak comes on, a real veteran, 30 years old. Say, so brought back into top-level football by Robert Alberts this season. They look tired, he gets an early touch of the ball. Oh, and it spins off, could have spun off dangerously there. Shown just a wee bit too much of the ball to uh, Tuppy. Well, this is a scoreline and indeed a performance that uh, one has to be honest and say won't do the S League any harm at all. With uh, everybody, a lot of people forecasting that this would be yet again a two horse race beginning of the season. To have the cup holders and the 1999 champions pegged back here by 10 men who are now leading. 3-2 is just what the fans of the league wants to get going. I didn't mean that cruelly to Robert Alberts. I just think that uh, on sinking marketing, it's early days yet, Vincent, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, very much early in the season. But still, this is of grave concern because uh, Home United are, are still considered favourites, one of the top contenders in this year's league. And, of course, they took a big risk in uh, getting rid of some high-profile players like Ernie Tapai. There goes Smirdo, just bounced away off uh, the foot there. Everybody's having a go, hoisted away in the end. Sassi won't be able to pump a long one in because the Sambawanga pension pushed right up. Try and spring the trap, they did spring it in the end, but uh, not much that Mohamed Chaban could do. But look how quick Yasin was off his line to pick up that ball. Well, I make it around about 10 minutes for Sambawang Rangers to hold on for a, what would be a sensational and a famous victory indeed. Well, as I said right at the beginning of the programme, matches between these two sides last season were very close. Indra Shadow goes for the return. He's got the pace, but no, will he brought the pace again. Up with Satria. Long ball. Perez. And it's uh, with Tawachai. I think it's a good tackle, but uh, to no avail. Estrubamani pushed back again, seems to pick the ball up in that position half a dozen times in the last ten minutes or so. He pushes it up for Perez de Oliveira. And there's going to be a substitution for Simbawang. Egmar.
Simbaban defending very well, looks like. Well, they got the numbers back in defence and, and honestly, uh, Omi and Atul finding it very difficult to work, work through. But uh, the only possible way, perhaps, if I may suggest, is to work down the flanks and get the crosses in. Like you said, that uh, Simbaban were quite poor in, in handling crosses. Perhaps they could capitalise on one, of, one or two of the mistakes. But perhaps the, what they call uh, among all of us in the stadium, the Panthers must be hoping that this game ends this way for those who put their yeah, money well, on well, Sambawang. Yeah, yeah it's 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 how you were talking about it at the beginning. Nah, it's about seven dollars for a payout if Sambawang wins. Ask, uh, ask our boys in the control room here if they got the piece of paper. I forget what the odds were now for a, um, a Sambawang victory. Seven dollars, John. Was it seven? Yes. Sasikuma, as Sambawang wait to substitute, they're going to bring on a very young man indeed. Just 18 years old, Mohamed Imran Sahib. I think taking off is my victory. I, I guess that they take off a striker and just yeah. show off the defense for the next five, ten minutes and finish off the game. Very good match victory, really, I think, don't you? Yeah, it'll be the, probably the, the, what they call the upset of the first round. Just clapping the Sambawa faithful behind me. What have we got? About eight minutes remaining, I think. And straight away on a run through with all the enthusiasm of youth. Yeah, Such his long legs, put to good use. <laughs> Have you seen this boy before? Oh, sensational news now coming from Jurong. Who is it who's put Jurong level 2-2 with SAF? But the grand old man of Singapore football, V. Sundramozzi. Extraordinary news, so two great games tonight. How amazing. Vincent, uh, we could have been in either game, would have been happy. Oh yes, but uh, of course, uh, what do you call him? He'll be relieved, much relieved. I think Rob Elvis will be much relieved. Even if he loses his game, if there's two points snatch away from SAF, I, I guess uh, Rob Elvis could be quite pretty smiling tonight. Paris Mahmoud. Nice to finish on that, and he went off right onto the running track as well. Ran smack into Satria Mad. And that could be uh, a bit nasty because he actually came down. There's a, there's a metal uh, tubing running down the outside of the pitch that carries. Uh, cables and what have you and he came on his back right onto it Sasi Kumar to Adi Skanda there he is came right down on his hip bonus home United now with 10 men are they going to score with 10 men on the pitch Edson Garcia spreading it wide wisely to Ed Subramani I think this is where Eggman Sambang are quite poor yeah. yes in clearing crosses Faris not looking at all happy down here, right in. Let's have a look at it, you'll see how he comes down. Well, Satra came on very strongly for the ball. I guess Faris just bumped into it, and the moment them shot off, carried him on to the tracks. Because I say, just caught his back on that metal tubing that runs along. Throw in for Home United. So 3-2 here to Simboang Rangers, and 2-2 at Jurong. Perez. Torres is back, he's ready to go back onto the field to catch the last few minutes of the game and help his team secure the equaliser. Well done, man of the match. I would yeah. have to give it to Judge Yasin. You got any other choices? I, I agree. I agree on that one. Yeah, I agree. Um, no, no question. I'll possibly come with Shripan, but um, I think Yazid's been magnificent. But it's not over yet. Are we going to see a great draw at the end? Oh, a nice run in from the substitute. Mahmoud Shaban, but to no avail. Vincent, you've got your uh, little piece of paper with the odds on there. Have you? What were the odds on a draw at Jurong tonight? It's four dollar twenty-five cents, John. Uh, four dollars twenty-five. Yeah. Somebody's going to make some money tonight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yazid. Well, in vain do the cheerleaders on the far side try to whip up the team. And Robert Alberts, who never really shows much emotion on the touchline, just shaking his head. You might rather ruefully. If I may add, John, if, if the score remains this way, 3-2, you find that tomorrow morning at the, in the table, Sambong Rangers will be on top of the table, three points, but I haven't scored more goals, three goals. Yep, quite right. Or Champo. 
Every tackle now by Sembawang, a real do or die tackle. They'll be absolutely delighted by this. And uh, I went to the club in the week and, and met up with Michael Chuan. I thought there was a slightly, uh, rather sort of almost intimidated air about the club slightly. It didn't seem as if they felt very positive about it. But this would be a wonderful tonic for them right at the beginning of the season. They go give away a free kick there, though. Cross. Takes a deflection. Yazid at the right pace at the right time. But honestly, they're quite, they look, the Fulminator could look quite desperate, John. We expect them to work down the flanks and cross in more balls. But in thing, they're taking pot shots from a long distance, which I think is going to hardly going to bother Yassin Yassin because uh, he's really in terrific form tonight. Such a good pre-season too for Home United. I uh, saw them play here in the Premier League against Marie Castle. And uh, although Alan Best has done wonders for Marie Castle, chance here for England. Went tumbling. At that stage, thought Home United looked very impressive. Perez breaking forward from the midfield. Philippe Moore on the far side. Rob, well, only a small handful of Rangers, uh, Samoa Rangers supporters here, but well, they'll be absolutely delighted. Coach Kezavan. No move from the fourth official yet with the time board. Our cameras next week will be at uh, the brand spanking new Chuachukan Stadium for SAF against Home United. And if Home United want to go on either side, could well go in uh, in a slightly different frame of mind to what one have expected a week ago, Vincent. Oh, yes. Should make it an absolute belter as well. Next match for Samboang is against Tampanese, I believe. It's quite difficult to predict how the outcome will be, John. Because so very, very early in the season, if the two giants meet, you probably want to settle for a draw. Goes out, throw in, which will be taken by Ahmed Ibrahim Noor for Samboang. Super money and the fresh pair of legs provided by uh, Imran Saib working to good effect. The fourth official just getting to his feet, he'll wait for the signal, I guess, from uh, referee Kennedy. Idea Skanda, only one man up, rather surprisingly, for Home United. Egg Marinj has now joined him. Faris Mohammed. I think referee Kennedy has signal for three minutes at a time to be played. Perez. Taken deep for Mohamed Shahbaz, but uh, no luck for him there. No cover for Sassi there at all. If uh, he had been robbed, he would have been through on goal, uh, Shifan. Now, Karis Mohamed, dying seconds for Hamid United. This is dangerous. It's not clear properly. Ekmar there, and Ekmar's height against Yazid. It's off the post, or off the crossbar, rather. It's still in power. Supermani, will he take a pot from there? Good ball from him for English Shada. Into the box, he can stay on his feet. on a double yellow. That's <laughs> super money. <laughs> Let's look at it. There's Big Mark shot. Well, he ran from a long way back, he did. Yeah, some good play in the box. Up goes the board for three minutes. It's still 3-2 to Sabawa. It's still 2-2 at Chiron. I think there's a yellow card shown. A yellow card shown to Ibrahim No. I think that's, I guess it's for time wasting. Edson goes for a long shot. Oh, it's a beauty! Very covered well in Grishada, as did um, Yasin Yasin, brother. Surely he must be named man of the match, John. Well, I think certainly is by us, but nobody ever asks TV commentators, do they? <laughs> they all have the print boys, but they never ask us. 
Yes, Subramani, I want to get this back as quickly as possible. Five men across the back for Samboan Rangers. A flat back five. Perez. Faris Mohamed's right over here, unmarked on the left side of the Home United attack, but it comes to Edson. Egmar. Indra and Mohamed Chaban up front now for Home United. Ali Iskander manages to get it to Perez. A disappointing cross in from the Brazilian. Dr. Alden for the Sambawan Rangers fans. This time it's uh, Ari Masale who comes right off his line. Aziz Sassi has pushed up up front for the last few minutes in the match. Masale, <laughs> a rather naive one as well. It was uh, waiting to happen, that one. There's the, the big bird. Playing right up front. We're probably into the last minute of the match now. It's uh, Faris has dropped right back to play in full back to cover for him for us, Mohammed. That's super money. Well, we're on the verge of a famous victory for Simbaman Rangers in their first match of the season. And Home United's first match and our first match here live on Sport City. And it's been a belter. The NTUC income, the new Titan sponsors of the league, must be absolutely delighted with the two matches tonight. A long ball forward looking for Sassi Kuma. He could just climb up here. Little glance at the watch from Kennedy. Second glance. We are meant to be playing in the multiple ball situation this season so that play can uh, get on. Ball sponsors. Uh, Picasso have given extra balls so that uh, there can be a large number of balls to keep playing going. As Super Money. This must surely be the last move of the match for Home United. I mean, get in the box and scream from the bench in front of us. And uh, Faris Mohammed concedes the foul, just what Sembawa Rangers wanted. Looks like uh, Satria Mad's got his nose blocked. Just had a nosebleed from that blow he had earlier. For well, John, a seven dollars for this win. A disappointing home United team, and perhaps a jubilant of all Rangers side. That must, well, I was going to say, almost the last ball of the match. ID climbs up. That's super money. Certainly, surely had three minutes of extra time by now. A wham right up the pitch. Not as long as it should have been by any means. And you got a big man up front. Try and hit him. over Home United, a wonderful start to the season for the Stallions and dejection all round for Home United. Vincent, uh, first to your immediate thoughts. Oh well, you can see the players all down, very disappointed with themselves, Home United not able to put on a, uh, what you call, uh, not able to secure at least a win in front of their home crowd in the beginning of the season. Indeed, it's going to be a hard step to climb because next week they're going to play SAF. It's not going to be easy playing at Joshua Kong Stadium, handling Ketisuk and Mirko Gorbova all together in a team. But then they got some consolation. Jackson Thiago will be back on the side, ho hoping to put some bite up front. Well, let's give credit where credit, credit's due. This was a, a victory tonight won by sheer hard work and determination on the part of St. Balan. And uh, we're just hearing a score, I think, Vincent, are you? Oh, yes, 10 players. 10 players from Samoa putting in putting two goals. That must indeed be sweetening. Yes, and I think, yes, uh, Yazid. Is it Yazid, the man of the match? Uh, just take you through the scorers, anyway. Nuiat opened, uh, beg your pardon, Perez for Home United opened the score in the third minute. Uh, around about the 16th minute, Nuiat Suri Wang made it 1-1. 2-1 then, a penalty uh, in the, um, the 63rd minute. Then 2-2, um, Petri brought them back into the game. And then that final score, that wonderful goal by Sawan Shri Pan, made it 3-2 in the 675th minute for Sabawang Rangers with just 10 men on the pitch for most of the second half after Nguyen Siri Wang was red-carded in the uh, early start of the second half, giving away that penalty. 